What's up, K-Mob? It's your girl, Kira and Brett, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. So, guys, today's video, I wanted to tell y'all I tried three. Did I really think that was going to work? Goodness. But, yeah, y'all, I tried Yoni Pearls for the first time. Anyways, a lot of people posted, like, graphic pictures with their um, Yoni Pearl review or whatever. I'm sorry, I just couldn't find it in myself. I couldn't, like, I was just like, you know what? I ain't gonna do all that. I just feel like that's just way too personal. That's just my opinion, you know, not mocking anyone, but I was like, it's just too much for me. I can't take it. But anyways, I decided not to post pictures of it or whatever. And unfortunately, I thought about doing this review after I like did it and everything and realized like, don't you want to show them how to look and everything before you do it? Like, you know, so I was just like, darn it. I was like, you know what? I'm still make the video because y'all done seen enough. So, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I look like Nick Moore. But anyways, y'all, seriously. So, yeah, so I tried the Yoni Pearls and I got it from Cookie Detox. That's their Instagram name. And uh, actually, that's their website as well, but... Yeah, so basically, these are like herbal cleansing tampons or something like that. Yeah, so it says natural. Oh, it's a detox. That's right. So, it's a natural herbal vaginal detox. And it comes with three of them. They call them pills, but they look like, they look like many. What are the little bath dissolver things called? Bath bombs. But anyway, they about thick. They ain't probably smaller than that. Something like that. But they three little small ball looking things. Like I said, they look like mini little bath bombs. And they have like a really thin string, like a tampon string. But they're really long. I guess like just so they won't get lost or anything. Um, but before I put it in, I checked to make sure, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't like come apart or anything. You know, like because some strings you can like pretty much break them apart, break them off or whatever. So I was just trying to make sure that the strings were sturdy, I guess. Or, sorry <laughs> when I do this, like just having brain parts, but anyways. So, um, so those strings or whatever, they're long. And basically it comes with one tampon. Um, I can't remember if the tampon, yeah, so. This is nasty. I'm not going to show y'all this. It's just a, a brand new, just a tampon, sponge, pad, what, oops. <laughs> whatever it is. But anyway, so it can't, it's unused. So, you know, gone with your negative comments. But anyways, what else I have to say? So yeah, it comes with a tampon and it comes with like three panty liners and basically um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to insert it into you using a tampon that they gave you y'all know how tampon like made like this <laughs> and the little i can't even think the cotton that's what it is the cotton on the inside of like the applicator of the tampon um, I pushed it out and I took that out because you're supposed to replace that with the little herbal balls. And before you put them inside of the tampon, like you take the tampon applicator apart. So you have to, I really hate y'all, but next time I do it because I'm going to do it again in like a couple weeks. So I'm going to do it again and I'm just basically going to do a video of everything I'm talking about. Uh, because I wanted to do it again to get like actual results or whatever and in this video I'll tell you why my results turned out the way they did the first time so um anyway so yes yeah, so I'm gonna replace the cotton with the um three herbal balls make sure you tie them to like a really nice knot and firm knot and then you'll insert them into the um tube the applicator the tampon tube or whatever and then you'll stick the and piece back in and then you just pretty much pretend as if you're inserting the tampon and it works just like that so you insert it and push the balls up you as far as you can get it not obviously don't kill yourself but just make sure they're in there all the way 
and you pull the applicator out and they're in you. You leave them in you for like 72 hours and after that, you get your results. So here was my experience. So the first day I did it, y'all, I was terrified. I was so scared and like right after I did it, I talked to my one of my friends and she made me even more terrified just by what, some of the things she was saying, just saying she didn't trust um, stuff like that and everything. I don't know, she's like, I'm just natural and I like self heal and all that other stuff. So I was just like, you know what? You got me scared now. Cause she was just like, I don't like stuff like that. So um, I was like, well, in my head, I'm like, well, I already tried it. like. Ugh. did I mess up? But anyway, so y'all, like I said, the first day when I first entered them, I was really, really nervous. I don't know what it was that came over me, but I feel like I was like seeing it. I feel like I was committing to seeing it. I don't know. It felt scary. I was just like, oh my God. I don't know, y'all. It was so weird. But anyway, so I finally put them in and it was fine. It was absolutely fine. It was fine the first day. I was like, I don't feel anything. It did have like a really, really strong like mint smell. And it just smelled like a lot of herbs and mints. I don't know. It was really strong, I know that. But I was just like, it don't smell bad. It's just a really strong herbal scent. Like, I don't know, it was just weird. I was just like, <laughs> I don't know about this. So anyway, so like I said, the first day was cool. I just had real bad anxiety. The second day, I was just ready, ready. I was anxious to take them out. I was just like, I'm so ready to get this out of me. Like I'm just so, it didn't irritate at all. Don't get me wrong. I didn't feel anything, but it was just weird. Me knowing something was in me that I wasn't comfortable with or something that I've never tried before. It was just basically like wearing a tampon the first time. It just felt uncomfortable. Cause I was just like, Oh my God, I'm ready to get this out of me. So then the third day, everything was cool. And I like out of nowhere, like I feel like this real sharp pain. And I was just like, mm-mm, I gotta get this up out of me. Like I'm so scared. Like I had already been like, I don't know. I was having like many panic attacks because of me knowing it was in there. I don't know. I was just like, I prayed and I was just like, oh my God, like, please. I just prayed that, I don't know. It was just weird, but anyways. So like I said, I was cramping real bad, but it eventually went away. I actually took like some light off because I was like, you know, maybe it's about to be that time of the month. So I still didn't get my cycle for another week or two, I believe. But anyways, I was just like, maybe, I don't know. Like, I was like, I'm just gonna tough it out. So I did, like I said, I took meds and 10, 10 p.m. that night, my third day here, like, it was time to take them out. So, I was just like, okay, let me take them out. I was so scared, like, because of what everybody said, like, came out. So, I was so scared. Like, my heart was, like, pounding. Like, it was so scary. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's in them things, because I just had this feeling. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But anyways, so... Like I finally took them out and like the little balls, when I first put, right before I put them in, they were white. I took them out, they were red or like brown. I don't know, they look weird. They were like a really dark red. And then like, if you, I saw some people opening them up. Like I saw one girl, she took like scissors and opened hers and I did the same thing. And it looked like powder, like, it broke down like powder, like, like crumbled. Y'all know how makeup looks when you like drop the, um, when you drop eyeshadow on the floor, you know how it, <laughs> you know how it looks? That's how it looked when I like opened it and it kind of like fell apart. And I was just like, I was just scared, y'all. I don't know, it was weird. But anyway, so the next three days I wore a tampon, not a tampon, but I wore the panty liners and basically I felt wet every single day. I felt like I had peed on myself those three days. It wasn't like really, I ain't gonna say it was that bad. I just felt like, okay, basically the pad was moist and I was just like, 
this is weird. And it did it for like three days and I was just like, okay. So also during the time that I did it, I didn't know if I fixed anything. I don't, I don't really know because I ended up finding out I had BV or a bacteria infection. I ended up, um, I ended up finding out because before I bought the Yoni Pearls, I was like, something ain't right. And I was just like, you know, kind of smelled a little weird. So I started doing my research and then my discharge was a little different. And I was just like, oh my God, like what is going on with me? And I had just left the doctor, like everything was good. So I was just like, what the, like what is going on? Like, so. I did my research and I had like me and my friends we would have like girl talk and like I kind of told them my situation and they could relate and I was just like oh my god so it's not just me like it's not just me so they made me feel a little better but still to this day I feel like I'm the only girl in the world because I just can't seem to understand why it happens to me and I was just like you know what I don't know what's going on with me. So I started watching people's videos and everything. And I was just like, you know what? I'm sold. I'm about to try these Yoni Pearls and whatever this is, it'll go away. So after I did the Yoni Pearls and after those three days or whatever, I still had the same problem. So I was like, you know what? I'm like, oh my God, I hope I didn't make something worse or I'm like, I don't know. So I was like, you know what? I'm going back to the doctor. So I'm gonna find out what it was it was just a, a bacteria um infection like bv i come to find out like it's so common in women and a lot of women experience it like especially women who had children and everything like that just women in general like if you've had a cycle it nine times out of ten you're gonna get one at some point in your life but i won't even say that i don't know if it's proven that there's a woman that has never had it. Like, I never saw that. But anyways, so I was just like, man, how does it go? So I went to the doctor and found out I had um, a bacteria infection. And she told me how she had one before. And, you know, hers would be, like, very stubborn at times. Yeah. You know, it's absolutely normal. Like, you know. It's just, there are like so many factors to getting one or there are so many things that can trigger you to get one. And she was just like, anywhere from like your soap, your under underwear, like the dye from the underwear, like whenever you buy new underwear, like wash them. And I did air on the pearls during that time. So I'm not sure if, you know, I can't really see, say I saw a difference. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like a new woman once I took it out. Like, I was just like, it felt like a lot of bass. I don't know, I just feel so good. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, y'all. So, I'm actually going to do an update. And I'm basically going, going to go through how to insert it step by step <laughs> without the one step of me actually doing it but i'm going to show you guys how to do it how to prepare to do it and just see how it go next time but i just want to tell y'all about my very first experience with the yoni pearls and it's like highly recommended so i'll be back to tell y'all how it really went because your girl is good so Thanks for mm -hmm. watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Kira and Bria. Mwah.